So for today, we are going to make DIY homemade banana and biscuit popsicle. So the ingredients that we need are frozen bananas, um, biscuits, and the tools. We need a food processor or you can also use a blender and popsicle mold. So I only have a uh, tiny food processor so I can only make um, two popsicle at a time. Um, but if you do have a larger food processor, of course, you can do more. It's only three biscuits because, as I said, I can only make um, two popsicle at a time. And I'm the only one who's going to eat it because my mom and my dad doesn't like sweet. So I, I'm the only one who have a sweet tooth in the house. So that. So of course, you can add more biscuits if you're making for the whole family so it's all up to you how many biscuits you like to use so um, you can eyeball it so there is no um, exact measurement here so first I'm going to grind the biscuits Transfer the biscuits in in the small bowl. There. Is we're going to blend the frozen banana. So by the way, I use three medium size of banana. See, at this point, we can now add the crushed or the grind biscuits. So just leave some for the toppings. Oops. There. See. Then we're going to blend it again. So here is our popsicle mixture. Then we're going to transfer or pour it on the mold. Wait. As you can see, it's too thick, so we need a uh, spoon. In transferring it, so I'll just pause the video. So, there, and then I'm going to add some crushed biscuits on top. Making a lot of mess here. <clears throat> and kind of pressed it just to make sure that it's going to stick. On the mixture there and then add the cover
and put it in the freezer. So here's the finished product. So it took a few days before it completely hardened. So I don't know, maybe it depends on the freezer. So maybe my freezer is not cold enough. And also I took it out from the freezer ahead of time so that it will be easier to remove the popsicle out from the mold. So let's see. So most of the time I'm having a hard time removing my popsicle from the mold. So I don't know, maybe it's not completely hardened at this point. So, let me just taste it. Maybe um, the taste will be better than it looks. Hmm. In fairness, it tastes good. And aside from that, it is um, a um, delicious and healthy dessert that you can do at home. Hope you guys like it. Please visit and subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects. Thanks for watching. Bye!